There have been a growing number of outbreaks across the Spanish territory in recent weeks, and today Spain registered almost 3,000 new infections, the highest number in a 25-hour period since the worst moments of the crisis back in April. Addressing the nation this morning, the Spanish health minister, Salvador Riges, announced 11 new measures in a bid to slow the spread of the virus. The measures were proposed by the Spanish national government and were approved unanimously by the 17 autonomous communities following an emergency meeting with the regions. The health minister also said that these measures were a minimum, not a maximum, and that regions could take more restrictive measures if needed. Regional governments regained full control over health measures when Spain initiated their de-escalation plan. As part of the raft of new measures, bars and restaurants need to guarantee a metre and a half distance between patrons, and the number of diners per table has been set at a maximum of 10. All nighttime establishments will have to close at 1am, with no new customers allowed after midnight. Street drinking and botellones will now be prohibited. The Spanish health minister also announced a blanket ban on smoking in public, if a two-metre distance cannot be observed. Galicia and the Canary Islands had previously introduced a ban. Another important measure announced by Salvador Iges was increased testing. Free random testing will now be offered to those living in the hardest-hit districts across Spain. And anyone returning to work from holiday would need to be tested and cleared before being allowed back into the workplace. Speaking to journalists, Salvador Riges also recommended people to avoid contact with people outside of their households and to limit gatherings outside the home to a maximum of 10. The new measures will come into effect tonight, when the Boletín del Estado Oficial is published. Just yesterday, Spain's director of health emergencies, Fernando Simón, dismissed rumours that Spain was planning to go into a three-phased lockdown. Dr Simón called the item published by the Euroweekly paper a bulo, fake news. But Fernando Simón did tell journalists last night that if the virus continued to spread, whatever action had to be taken to contain it would be taken.